Hey guys, welcome to today's film session. We're going to be breaking down Chase Edmonds and what he brings to this Dolphins offense. Before we get started though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. Also, if you're interested in joining the ACB Sports family, hit that join button in the link down below. With that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So the Dolphins went out and signed Chase Edmonds at the start of free agency on a two-year, $12.2 million deal with $6.1 million per year. Um, and I really like what Edmonds brings to the table. We're going to talk about all that in today's film session. Um, but let's just talk about the stats quickly. Last year in 12 games, he was injured for a little bit. Um, 592 rushing yards, two rushing touchdowns, but more importantly, he was a big part of the receiving game in Arizona, catching 43 footballs for 311 yards and no receiving touchdowns. This guy is a dual threat running back. He can th catch the ball in the backfield. He can also run the ball. He's got great speed. We're going to break it all down in today's film session. Let's dive right into it, and I hope you enjoy. So all of the videos uh, from today, all the highlights from today, um, is going to be from this one game against the Rams last year, and that's partially because... Chase Edmonds, one, had a really good game that game, and there's a lot to work with. But also, uh, he was injured for, for a couple games last season, and uh, James Conner really took the shadow, uh, took overshadowed um, Chase Edmonds for a large part of the year, too. So it was kind of hard to find, uh, you know, good amount of footage. So we're going to use all this Rams footage, but he played really well, and it still shows exactly what he brings to the table. Anyway, on this play right here, you're going to see him in the backfield. Um, and what I love about Chase Edmonds is his ability to run to the outside. He's got really great speed and vision for a running back his size. Um, and, you know, for a smaller running back, which is what he is, he's a smaller in height and weight, you know, being 5'9", 210 pounds, he's not super big. Um, he's got to make it up with speed, and he does. On this play here, he's going to follow the blocks. All these blocks are going to be trying to get him to the outside. So these blocks are going to be going this way. And Edmonds is simply going to run that ball to the outside. And just look at how quickly he hits the outside. Um, so really good uh, play here with the, the, the tackle coming across on a counter play. And all Edmonds is going to do is going to follow that tackle, right? Good vision here. Sees that, you know, going up right between that tackle and the right tackle isn't going to really work. So simply just bounces it out to the outside. You see how he just bounces out to the outside, and he's got the speed across the outside to move upfield for the big game. This is a really nice play by Chase Edmonds, just hitting the, finding the hole, realizing that it's not where he thought it was, and then having the speed, acceleration, and quickness and elusiveness uh, to bounce the ball back to the outside and just showing the burst here. That's, what, that's the thing I love about Chase Edmonds the most. He has burst. He's got speed. He's got quick acceleration. This is what the Dolphins' run game has been missing of late. He's also a really smart pass catcher. On this play here, he's going to come out into the flat. And, you know, originally as a check down guy, uh, Kyle Murray, uh, Kyler Murray, excuse me, isn't going to be able to throw him the ball here, right? It's just not. It's just not there. And the thing I love about Edmonds here is he understands where the defense is and he understands where he needs to be on the football field for Kyler Murray to have an easy pass to him. And then you're going to see that on this play right here. So Murray's going to drop back, right? And he's going to feel the heat. Edmonds is going to move out to the flat. Murray is really good at getting away from pressure, so he's actually able to get away from this pressure here, and he just kind of moves over this way, right? So he moves away, and this is what I love about Edmonds here. He's just putting himself in a spot where the defense isn't, trying to get those extra yards and trying to just be that quarterback's best friend, trying to pick up those yards, and that's exactly what he's going to do. So as Murray keeps rolling out, Edmonds is just trying to find the, an open spot on the field, and as this linebacker comes up to try and protect uh, against Kyler Murray running, all Edmonds is doing is realizing that and taking that space. And as he takes that space and that linebacker bites down a little bit more, you're going to see Kyler Murray just dunk, dunk it over to Edmonds for the, you know, the, the first down. And that's all it is, right? It's a third and two play. There was pressure and Edmonds was able to get, get out and find the open spot in the defense. I really like this play uh, by Edmonds. It just shows, uh, you know, the football IQ um, in game, which a lot of, you know, players don't really have. And he secures the catch there too. Um, just really nice play there by Chase Edmonds. Another thing I like about Chase Edmonds, he's got the ability to run between the tackles with some speed. On this play here, he's going to take the snap and he's going to run right up the gut. And once again, I mean, this guy isn't big. He's 5'9", 210. He's not a power running back. He's an elusive running back in every sense of the word, elusive and speed running back. That's his game, and that's what he excels in. And on this play here, he's going to use that to his advantage because normally when you run between tackles, you think the guy has to be powerful, right? He's got to be uh, be able to put his head down and run through contact, and Chase Edmonds really isn't that guy. Um, what he is, though, is he's elusive and he's quick, so he gets to the ball quickly, 
finds the hole quickly, sees the hole right here, really good recognition of the hole, and is simply going to just run right through the hole. Runs through the hole and then puts his foot in the ground and escapes this tackler. Um, and picking up the extra yards, just churning his feet forward for the first down. This is a really nice play by Chase Edmonds for, you know, a six or seven yard gain. Because all it is is him recognizing the hole really quickly, finding the hole, picking up the hole, putting his foot in the ground, just being elusive in open space, and always falling forward. When we talk about running backs, falling forward is so important. You need the extra yards. Chase Edmonds gets those extra yards as um, he picks up uh, a solid gain here on first down against the Rams. But another thing I like about Chase Edmonds is he's explosive. And when I talk about explosive, I mean explosive. This guy, if given some open space, can really, really, really move the football deep downfield. I mean, this is what he does really well. On this play here, uh, the play is just going to open up, right? It's third and seven. The, 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 the Cardinals don't really want to throw the ball here. They don't want to take any chances. Uh, so what they're going to do is they're just going to run the ball up the middle with Edmonds. And that's exactly what's going to happen, right? Edmonds is going to take the snap. He's going to run right up the middle. And then this entire spot, spot of the field where no defenders are is completely open. And you're going to see Edmonds hit that hole and burst. It's just the pure burst. It's the pure acceleration here. He hits the hole and then picks up a ton of yards after um, for, you know, a massive gain on third and seven backed up. These are the kinds of plays that Edmonds can make. He can make those explosive running plays that this Dolphins running game just has not had. And look how hard he is to take down an open field. Gets to the outside, picks up the extra yards. He's explosive. That's exactly what the Dolphins need in their run game. And this is the last play I'm going to show you. I kind of showed you what he does running the football, but he can also be really effective uh, as a pass catcher. And we showed you one of those plays where he's kind of just smart and getting into the open field. On this play here, it's originally kind of just a check down play where he's going to come right there, uh, almost like a curl route. Um, and originally, you know, it's not there, right? Because Kyler Murray wants something deeper downfield. He's looking at these receivers over here, doesn't really see anything open. He's just being patient with the football. But in reality, what this allows for is it allows for Edmonds to come back towards the middle of the field and then just once again get open. He's really good at getting open in the passing game because he's quick and he's aware of the defense. And all Murray's going to do is just going to fire that ball over to Edmonds. Edmonds a yards after catch machine. Um, doesn't really get away from uh, pressure there. But once again, able to be productive out of the backfield as a, as a pass catcher. Once again, had almost had about 40 catches last year for the Cardinals in only 12 games. So he's really productive as both a runner and as a pass catcher. So with that said, um, I think that Chase Edmonds is going to bring a lot to this Dolphins offense. I think by the end of the offseason, he won't be the only, you know, running back on this roster. Um, and sure, the Dolphins have some other running backs on this roster, but Edmonds is 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 the number one guy. I think that the Dolphins will target someone in the draft, hopefully a power running back to complement Chase Edmonds' style, similar to what Arizona did last year with Edmonds and James Conner. Conner getting a ton of touchdowns. I think he finished the year with like 18 touchdowns. Well, Edmonds wasn't really the touchdown guy, but more of the pass kit pass catching, excuse me, um, change of pace running back that they needed at times. Um, and that's, that's, that's what it comes down to, right? I mean, I think Edmonds fits really well with Mike McDaniel's style of kind of creative offense, running the football, using tight ends. Um, but more importantly, using kind of gadget players. And I wouldn't say Chase Edmonds is a gadget player, but in a way he kind of is in the fact that he's a much better, he's a really good pass catcher and the speed and elusiveness that he has and the athleticism he has with the speed and the acceleration that, and, and the burst he shows at times um, makes him really scary and really dangerous, um, especially in the open field where he can do a lot of his damage. Um, so I think that those are all big things for this, for, for this Dolphins offense. I think Chase Edmonds really at the, at the end of the day opens a world of cre creative possibilities. Uh, for this Dolphins offense running the football, and I think he brings a lot to the table. I think this was a really good pickup by the Dolphins, getting a guy who can really rush the football, but also catch the ball in the backfield um, and make plays in open space. And that's what the Dolphins need out of their running back. Um, they haven't had a really good running back since 2016 with Jay Ajayi. They haven't had a productive running back since then. I don't think Chase Edmonds will rush for 1,000 yards, but I think he can rush for 600 yards, um, a couple touchdowns, but be a really difference maker in the passing game um, as a pass catcher and really open up this Dolphins offense for Tua Tagovailoa. I also think he fits really well with Tua Tagovailoa and the whole RPO concept uh, because Edmonds can get open really quickly and also he can move the football really quickly too. He's got great speed um, and great elusiveness. I love this pickup for the Dolphins. I think it was a little bit expensive, $6 million for a running back um, that isn't going to be, you know, a bell cow. Um, but at the end of the day, I think this is a good move. I like them getting Edmonds, and I think he brings a lot to this offense. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see ya.